Hello, Everyday Military, and today's video we are going to go over the Equix, which is the extended cold weather clothing system that we use here in the military. Uh, stationed here in Alaska, I was able to get issued most of the items, so I'm going to go over what they are and how we use it. So of course with all the Equix levels, it's going to be incorporated with the uniform. So it's either going to go under as a base layer or over as an outer layer. So when it comes to level one, it is just a thin base layer. A very thin uh, silk weight. It provides some insulation. Not much, but it also is moisture wicking. So when it comes to level two, uh, level two is also a base layer. It is the Polartec Power Dry Grid material, also what we refer to as a waffle top. We call we call it a waffle top because if you see the material is it's waffle like. This is actually very warm. It provides more insulation than your level one, and also it is uh, moisture wicking. Um, and this is what you will see most, actually you won't see it because it'll be under the uniform and, and it's not visible, but many service members wear this under their uniform when it's cold. When it comes to the third level, or level three, it is the high loft fleece. This, I will say sweater or fleece, is what most people use or more, most active duty use when it is cold. It's very easy to get, um, it's not that expensive, and it's very warm. I, it is an outer layer, so I've used this over my uniform, and this under my uniform in zero to negative five degrees, 30 minutes to an hour, and I was very comfortable. Now, longer than that or colder than that, I would say um, you would have to go with a higher level. So when it comes to the level four, it is just a windbreaker. Very light windbreaker, uh, stretchable nylon, barely waterproof. It's just made to stop the wind. You, you usually don't see people have this because it's usually issued issue to you and you cannot buy it as far as I know. Uh, I, was, I was in about eight years before I even saw one of this and it's this one because it was issued to me. I actually wear this one uh, more in the winter because I don't I don't spend that much time outside and it's just enough to stop the wind and that and that frigid cold to get to my shop. So this is the uh, level four. It does have the pocket here, as you can see, just very light. A uh, pocket on the sleeves. That is the level four. So the level five and six is where you get into more of the wet weather gear. So the level five, it's a little bit thicker than the, than the level three and the windbreaker material, but it is not waterproof. It's more water repellent. Uh, it is, you know, bigger, longer. It does have a hood, unlike the windbreaker. And then when you go to level six, that is your Gore-Tex. So this one is waterproof. And you will see many people wear this in the cold or in the rain. And when it's cold, they will, they will wear their fleece under it. Uh, this is a great rain jacket. So that. And the pants. So when it comes to 
level seven, that is where we talk about extreme cold. It is insulated with Primaloft, which is still warm while wet, unlike Goose Down. Uh, this is, we're talking about the marshmallow suit. It's very puffy, but also very warm. It is rated to negative 60. I've been, I've hiked glaciers with just a jacket at negative 30 and I was warm. Of course, I had a sweater under it. Uh, I would choose this over my Goose Down Columbia with the reflective lining. I would choose the level seven jacket over that. I've been to Fairbanks where it was negative 20 with negative 60 wind chill, also with just the top. And my body was warm, uh, but my face felt like it was gonna freeze off. Um, so that is a summary of the Equix system.